baiting for him a little bit. Well, he's got that shorty in pocket. Might work and boom, no oh, why? Well, Valen was expecting it. it. Looks like he may have seen that one before. Doesn't work out for him though. And G2 at least able to trade and maybe even get a little bit more. Jogamo cleaning up. G2 take the site. Nice entry. And way to follow up with that support after Benji getting that initial kill on the shorty. Swinging across for Lux and will take them out 3v3 as they think about post plant. You know, retake situation here. Still a flash available and the aftershock for Severe. And trade for a trade towards short at the very least. Oi! That short doing work. Jogamo. Fine, you want to do that in an actual match when he was on Evil Geniuses. <laughs> But some util being committed to get a trade. Only a one to one. Moment. 30 seconds left. Akita have an inkling. Oh, they want to let him know. And Akita takes two down. That will likely do it here at the end for G2. Mimi? Yeah. And she's microwing her team. Looked really, really good. I'm looking forward to how that goes head to head. The opening pick here, Lux, already. Finding one by Lupiat as well. The read comfortable there because you've got the cipher set up on the A site, right? So Inzagan's very aware of the fact that G2 are stuck towards B main. And they know the util is committed. Like you said, lines all set up, but a move has to be made. Smoke gets dropped on through the door, forces G2 to take sight to make a move. They got to make sure they're covering every angle Zarans. So eventually that push is going to go slowly, but surely. And then eventually the fight goes and G2 wins the bout. They get the timing and a good plant, making it a 1v2 here for Benji. Immediate. Almost got caught there. Nice little jiggle peek. You do have that nightfall to work with. Prowler just spawning out Benji oh. and the wall bang to take him out here as well. Want to push forward, Util stalls the push for a moment, but you get pushed back up to the ramp, or the stairs, excuse me, Jogamo. Taking down Lou. G2 have agent advantage again. They get the plant. Well, Vanya gets the peak, gets the kill, and that's gonna make light. Due to that lurk, then you got that from the shadows back over just to clear back out towards short as the full rotation had been pulled, and then the backstab mid here as well. Yeah, it looks like G2 had the best of them. Faking the plant, Spike picking planted. up another kill, giving an even spread now for V4. And they're holding strong here on C or close to CT, trying to pincer them in, and oh, wow. Lou got completely caught out, back turned to the play. Flash to try to protect the retreat. Trent has no such inkling of a retreat. Still tries to fight around the corner, the swing. And Zarad's got a couple of trades, but it's a 1v2 for Benji. He's got to make a move. Trying to bait out the plant. Swinging around, Benji knows he's fighting a war on two fronts. Wins the first front. The second front still needs just holding. Fania finally looks, but misses the shot. Benji got played, and that's another win for G2. They're Ooh, and just adjust to the full top mid rotate over towards A for G2. Yeah, it forces them to use a little bit more of that utility to re-clear towards this A site. Benji stuck towards generator. What a got shot! The first pick, oh, but he still got stunned out by the fault line. And the fault line coming out came out there. Trent gets the plant. And Zarantz, 3v4. Lux coming around, but Vanya got Lux on the off angle. And the off angles. Catching Zarantz out a lot, but really that's just credit to how G2 have played some of these battles. Always got themselves on the support angle, no matter what goes wrong. But really nothing has gone wrong. They've played the util perfectly. Vanya. This time Go. around, G2 are the ones fully in control of the rhythm of the game. Very well, could be 11-1 by the time we switch halves. And tough to see where the way forward right now for Zarantz is. They do trade out initially. Jogamo. Popping. Oh, ew. Dropping him. And continues to deliver. Oh, man. G2. When you got Jogamo on that. On, and he's just fragging out like he is right now. 
I mean, good luck. Even when they did take him out last time, though. It doesn't matter. Somebody always steps up. Vanya's look great. All of G2 playing really well. That they are. Yeah. Flank retake coming in here yeah. from Zavos, maybe even trying to just get some exit frags. Time starting to run low, and when you're still in a 2v3, I guarantee you can clear out all of these angles. A nice concuss to respond coming up from Jogamo. And this round should be just about Almost over. To that. How do you adjust? How do you break through? To be fair, yeah. we have seen a lot of creativity in their plays, though. So, you know, the adjustments being made, we see this push over towards the main and a great paranoia with the expectation. It caught their duelists and forces them to move out. A lot of Util dropped again, though. They get concussed, forced to wait. G2, happy to push forward. They're winning the gunfights. And a couple of trades for servers are to try and play their own game in this matchup, not get discouraged despite the scoreline. You haven't seen the lethal duo of Severe and Benji really come online, but Zorans, they start the pistols nicely. However, Jogamo slides forward, gets the kill, and makes this a 3v3. Looks like the fight needs to peek towards top mid, and well, Lux finds you and Zorans. This is starting to look a little better. Vanya pushed back. She's been able to stop the momentum when Zorant have gotten going before, but she can't do it this time. Akita comes up huge. You were just talking about her, Ash, and a critical frag, leaving only Mimi left. Zoranz cannot afford to give these 1v1s. Flash already came out. Fault line as well. Mimi's getting pushed back. Nothing she can do. Just has to wait it out. And the longer she waits, they're more comfortable. Zorans will be and are probably already feeling comfy waiting through the smoke breach flash out quick peek got one oh. got two a lot of util thrown on a lux popping that overdrive ult looking for a pick looking for a way for Zorans to get onto site jogamo takes out akita some util now gone some smokes gone on the side of Zorans. They do get the spike down. G2 are ready for it. Paranoia comes out. They get blinded. Trent get, grabs the value off of that util. And G2 start to push forward. It starts. Lux. Do you feel like it may come down to him continuing to pick off the high value targets? Now, granted, when everything's high value on G2, it's hard to really pick, but you gotta think getting Jogamo down will at least help your chances a lot. But it, I think Vanya has been a great cleanup as well, at least on this first map. G2 looking super clean. Jogamo with two through the smoke. And that's just rude, dude. <laughs> Go through, pick up another one. A little bob, a little weave, and you miss the first, but you get the second. They can't find Jogamo's head. They do kill him at the end, but before, not before he did all the damage. Hey, it's Jogo. What do you expect? Bro's that, been literally running around the map <laughs> this entire game. And this is tough here for Zuvier. No time left to work with now either. Having to stick it and First kind time. of wild, to be honest, Jorby. He's played every other initiator, but he hasn't played Gecko. Oh, well, that snowball will certainly be there in the mental of G2. Zorantz. Need a pickup here. They can't get a kill though. Lou swung on Mimi and paid for it. Another swing. This time Lux picks up two and evens the score. Lux slides across and thought he could get the repeak, but eventually gets taken out by Vanya on the Sheriff. Yeah, you've got the rap coming around here for Benji as well, right? So for as long as they know that G2 are completely contained within B. Pick to go down, Akito to find one, equalizing into a 2v2 situation. Valen's so low now, too. This is looking decent now for Zorantz. They got the health pools. They got the agent advantage. He's farming those ult orbs. They were much it certainly very, looks very like he plays Gekko a lot, huh? Yeah. <laughs> Sorry, immediately. Lou has a trade at the very least. A lot of util being dumped towards this A side, but the Viper wall will stall G2's movement for now, Zerans happy to hold. Severe starting to come online a little bit more. You won't get much 
through the bubble. You gotta wait till it drops. Spear will get at least a trade. Akita also picking up. And this is still looking great for Zorans. They've held G2 down and beyond that nest. Got him again. Another trade, 2v1. Ability to farm out these orbs. And free positioning, always nice. As they will take every inch they can get. That fight towards that A side. Vanya though, working from behind, actually picks up a kill. Lux trades out on Vanya, and a nice response from Zarans. Getting that trade on the back side, moving around, a little bit of trouble on the rotate. G2 have the plant. Jogamo takes Lou down. We'll be holding. You know, he can easily take care of business himself. Has had great util, great presence, sitting on site, holding, buying time. But he got three on Zarans, three on G2, one from Zarans goes, two go, and Jogamo is on a killing spree. You get no. out of hand. Responses as well, the operator into the hand of Lux for this round. Hunter's Fury popped for G2, and meanwhile, Valen picking off Zarans from the other side. G2 with the 4v3 as they push back onto site. Lux looking and cannot make contact. Still holding back, pushing them off and picks Mimi, or picks, excuse me, Trent down. And still Zarans is a good response, but Jogamo is still alive and he's got one down, 2v2. Lux still looking with the up. Akita actually getting the kill as well. It leaves Mimi all by herself to try to hold this plan. Akita's already on it. How does Mimi try to play? Looking, but blocked by the wall. Mimi gets one. The scaling that we had seen previously from G2. And now they're looking to combine these ultimates together. The Thrash coming out to guarantee that backside is clear. And then you've got that Harbor alt as well, just to zone everyone off. And it's actually G2 investing everything early on into this round. Trying to deny that plant with the Hunter's Fury coming out from loot. They expected it though. You should run. A great lockdown Ooh. to reply from both sides. <laughs> both Killjoy alts going down. It's an absolute madhouse. The Viper's Pit committed as well. And finally, the trades will start happening. The fight in the pit. <laughs> Lux, a little uh, slow pop on Valid, trying to escape him. G2 and Zerantz. No one's actually got that full advantage. Killjoy alts have popped. Trent hoping for the shock dart through the pit. G2 didn't have to do right, much. They see that she's not overstaying her welcome, right? Looking to fall back, guarantee that she can play retake with the team. Right now, they're just trying to deny that plant space. The Viper wall up again for G2, which does force Zerantz back again. Zerantz tried to play aggressive up uh, at the top of yellow, and it almost worked to bait out a little bit of util early, but still, it doesn't really seem to matter. To get the trades, Lux Bladestorm is out. He's got to be the difference maker here, and he can't land the knives. But Akita actually catches Mimi out after she gets flushed right back into space from that Bladestorm. So while you don't get the kill, Lux at least gets the value by pushing her right into his teammate. And Zaran's just trying to get back onto the site. Valen holding it. Lux sitting the defuse. He goes down. No, actually, it's Akita who goes down. I have to look at that one. Lux sitting on it, but it doesn't matter. G2 have done the job. Right now, G2 feels like in a lot of these situations, for the most part, getting outgunned and uh, the util combos coming off much stronger. Well, Trent gets the entry. And that'll be enough for G2. Confident push forward. Akita was trying to figure out, is it up? Is it down? Is it to my right? And it was to your left. But the rotation through the backside. Do Zerantz have it? Last time this didn't work, but it was just Akita. And now Severe. They're gonna get it. G2 are ready for it. They know if they're not there, they're behind us, but they weren't thinking about Lux! Lux just evened the score. They still have to find the plant, though. The timer is ticking. And they're surrounded. Zerantz have to play this well. They've got to cover those angles. The util gets dropped. Lou gets a kill on Valen. And the push for Zerantz. Gonna work. They get Chogamo. The 2v1. They still gotta get the plant. But hang on a second. Mimi's still alive. Lux has to play it. You gotta stick it. 
and you got to get and up. They just have so much opportunity to be flexible with this map control, too. Running that harbor alongside the Viper. There's a lot more opportunity to scale up, and the backstab for me is so consistent. Means no walls either. Oh, Giacomo. Picking you around yellow, no problem. And that is real difficult for Zarans. There's absolutely no way. Yeah, you know, never say never. Crazier things have happened in Valorant, right? But just with the way G2 have played this game, Icebox was starting to tell it. Are we going to see the opportunity for that to even come up? Yeah, G2 know that they just got to push forward. The Hunter's Fury comes out, even picked one. Mimi, Valen, Vanya, all getting kills. Giacomo might go down, but you know what, Giacomo? You're, you sit down, buddy, all right? You've been doing a lot of work. Let the rest of G2 handle this one. 1v4 should be easy, does it? Like you said, Benji, hopefully can get a few picks here. He can't get anything. Zarantz won the first pistol. It netted them two wins afterwards. They need those three wins now in order to get back into this map. Otherwise, it's an easy G2 sweep from here if they can win the first pistol. Everyone holding those angles. Zarantz knowing what's at stake in the match. Don't want to play in that lower bracket. Lux going up. Sees the first pick. Do I can't get the second. He was spotted. G2 get the response. Mimi Sheriff's off screen, and now it's a 1v2. And Mosh Pit. Not at least going to cut any rotation out from yellow on the other side, but hang on a second. Benji and Akita make the play towards, and G2 actually get caught a little bit on the lurk, and now into full rotate. Oh, Benji ready to catch Vanya out. As G2 tried to find the play from behind. They get the spike down. Still, this is actually looking pretty good. Four is around. 2v5. And now that should do it. Valen goes down. Mimi last alive. We're trying to make the play anyway, but a key for match point. And moving further in the Spotlight Series tournament. Akita tried to find the pick. Benji will get the trade. And a couple of trades, actually. Mimi, the last in a long line of dominoes, makes it a 2v3 for Zarantz. Vanya will make sure that it's going to be difficult work for Severe, who will get the plant, but you got to hold this 1v2. I like this reposition coming out from Severe, though. Manages to isolate Ooh. the first now down to a 1v1 with Trent. Trent on the peak, moves away. He's going to force Severe to fight on different turf. Trent. On the shock dart, cut off one angle. Using his util to keep zoning him away, but the more time elapses, the more Severe is winning. Trent knows. With the slow rotate, he knows. Timing. But it goes around. Look, like, Severe actually points his crosshair on the peak. Oh, he yeah. might have might have had a chance at him there, but yeah, having to swing across always hard. But this will show you how close it was. Trent actually goes down immediately. Zarantz, I mean, this is it. You've got to find a way well, to not have the bodies drop 3v3. They get the spike down, but they're losing autonomy. Vanya has been lethal on the backside. Again, Akita goes down. Benji will pick up another. It's a 1v2 for Benji for the map. Really just to stay alive in the map, just to stay alive in the match. Spike grabbed. Benji has only one option which is to get the heck out of there, find that A plant, and hope you can hold here. You know, 1v2 situation is a tough look. There is a lockdown to work with, at the very least, to buy that extra time, but G2, we've seen them consistently in these situations, right? Always looking to play together. It's gonna be hard for Benji to find an opportunity to isolate some sort of 1v1 that prompts the early lockdown. And lockdown out, but it will be a quick push. Benji gets one. Benji can't get the second. Got all the first look. It's Vanya cleaning up on Icebox, defusing, taking the win for G2, moving on in the.